I'll be connecting it now. So there it's connected. Then after that, this USB should be connected to the USB port. Hi everyone, just recently I bought this Focusrite audio interface and now I'll be teaching you how to connect this audio interface to the computer and later on I'll be showing to you how to record the electric guitar and the vocal using the GarageBand software. So if you would like to do solo recording, this tutorial is good for you. Now we will be connecting this Focusrite to the computer. All you need to have is this the usb cable now at the back side of the focus right you can see here uh, this usb port so you just need to connect this one i'll be connecting it now so there it's connected then after that this usb should be connected to the usb port of your computer so i'll be connecting it now here so it's now connected so that's the way how to connect the focus right to the computer. And this is the input one and this one is the input two. Now this input one is used for the microphone and for the input two you'll be using that for the electric guitar or other musical instruments like a keyboard or bass guitar. Now, in order to connect the microphone in the input one, you need the XLR cable. Okay, now let's try to connect this XLR cable to the audio interface. So we have it here. So it's connected. At the end of this cable, you need to connect it to the microphone. Okay, I have microphone here. So just connect this. There, it's already connected. So our microphone is already connected to the audio interface. So after connecting the microphone to the audio interface, we'll be using this input to, to connect the electric guitar. So basically we need a guitar cable. Then we'll be connecting this guitar cable to the input to. Then the other end of this cable, you need to connect to the electric guitar. So we have connected already the audio interface to the computer. Now the next step here is to go to System Preferences if you're using an iMac. So I'm now clicking the System Preferences. And then inside the System Preferences, you would be seeing here the sound. So click Sound. Okay, now there are three categories here. We have the sound effects, the output, and the input. So better click first the sound effects. And below the sound effects, you will be seeing their play sound effects through. Okay, if I'll be clicking this one, there are options, internal speakers, Scarlett Solo USB, and the Pro Tools Aggregate. Now I'll be choosing this Scarlett Solo USB. And for the output, Okay, I prefer using this card solo USB as our output. And the next one you have the input again, choose the Scarlet Solo USB. So that's all you need to know, uh, setting the sounds of the system preferences in your computer. Now let's start recording the electric guitar and the vocals using the garage band. So all you need to do is go to the launch pad and then choose the garage band. Then go to file. And then after that, choose the empty project. Okay, we'll be recording first the electric guitar. So we need to choose this one, connect the guitar there and make sure this one is in input two. Okay, if you're recording the guitar. 
and then I want to hear my instrument then pick that one and then click this create so let me strum my guitar okay so below that make sure that the input here is in input to Scarlett Solo USB now let's start recording the guitar so all you need to do is to click this record button here Okay, stop. Okay, our next step now is to record the vocal. So we need to just click this plus sign. It means you'll be adding new track. Then choose this microphone. And then make sure it's in input one. Okay, then click this create. Now let's start recording the vocal. by clicking this uh, record button again. I pass through the narrow gate that leads to eternal life. But then along the way, falls a everywhere, wanting me to fail. Now, if you would like to add some plugins for your vocal, you have options here. You can increase the reverb, the ambience, and equalizer. You could put it to mid frequency as well. And low cat, you could increase the low cat. And you have a compressor. Now, let's hear our recording from the start. Just get your guitar and use the microphone and you're ready to go. And for those who are new in this channel, I hope that you could like and subscribe my channel. And for all my subscribers, if you have some questions with regards to this tutorial, you could just comment on the comment section below my YouTube channel. Thank you so much and God bless us all.